<clears throat> What's up, mixing of this? It's your boy Marcus, back in black, and today we back for 2021's first motivational Wednesday. Motivational what? Motivational who? Motivational Wednesday, fools. Get ready for it. Now, today, uh, we're gonna be doing a different kind of video here. We're gonna be discussing this dude, this this little sixth grader hero dude let's check this dude out man like i'm just let me just go through his story real quick just to uh catch y'all up on something okay let's read the story now the sixth grader gave a classmate heimlich and saved a woman from fire in one day all right so an 11 year old boy from oklahoma is being honored for his heroism uh after he saved a uh, choking classmate and rescued a woman from a house fire in one day Devon Johnson was named an honorary member of both the sher sheriff's office and the police force and was recognized by the Board of Education in his hometown of Muskegee, a city about 50 miles uh, southeast of Tulsa. So Devon uh, performed a Heimlich maneuver on a classmate on December 9th and that evening helped a woman from uh, her house that was on fire. And the uh, Muskegee Public Schools posted a series of photos showing Devon posing with his various awards and certificates. You see that, man? Dude's in the sixth grade, man. Look at this little kid right here, right? This is a little kid, 11 years old, right? And not to be all uh, corny, but some people think to make a difference, to be a hero, you gotta be a certain kind of dude or a certain this or that. You ain't even gotta be an adult. This kid just saw something that needed to be done and it was the right thing and he did it. That's all we need to be doing for 2022. Because look, People don't mind their business about regular stuff. So at least if you ain't gonna mind your business, don't mind your business when people need help. Jump in there and help them out, man. You know what I mean? That's all it takes to be a hero, is to jump in there and really help people who need it. This dude, we need to salute this dude. I'm glad they actually, you know, showed him some love and this got pressed because, you know, sometimes being infamous, you get more, way more press than being an actual good person. Good people that typically don't make the news, all right? It's normally awful people, like Jeffrey Epstein or something. That dude would be over every news station ever. This little kid saving two people's lives the same day? This ain't get all over CNN and all. That's kind of that's kind of press and uh, none of that. It's normally awful people. Awful people get so much press that sometimes by, if somebody's terrible enough to you, good things that happen to you because everybody will know about that terrible person and what they did to you. So that's how we gotta stop giving the negativity so much attention, man. You know what I mean? That's what Motivational Wednesday is about, stressing that positive and staying positive and focusing on your goals. But this, focus on the positive, be that hero, even if you don't think you can be. Just stand up for what's right and that makes you the hero. Look at this little kid. Anybody can be a hero. Just do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I just want to salute this kid. And let's start this next video in three, two, one, run it. Life can throw you some curves. And it's not just the things that you see coming but sometimes it's the things that you didn't see coming that hit you out of nowhere, that set you back in such a way that it seems like you can't get over. When you get into a tight spot and everything goes against you until it seems that you cannot hold on for a minute longer, never give up then, for that is just the place and time that the tide will turn. There are times when your energy feels so depleted that you want to give up that it looks just totally impossible and I can tell you from my own personal experience don't give up then that's when you've got to fall forward when life is kicking dirt in your face don't give up then that's when most people turn back 